Hi, happy Easter Monday. Today we are talking about, it's probably my favorite topic, the three pillars of the Staffless Practice Success System. So <clears throat> I'm watching Facebook here. If you guys have questions, this is live, um, but you might be watching the recording too. And if you are, you, you can always hit me up with questions. So um, if we don't already know each other, it's nice to meet you. My name is Dr. Jody Dinnerman. I have been in practice for, I can easily say now, 23 years because I just had my practice anniversary. And um, hands down, the hardest thing about practice for me was always how to manage all of the moving pieces, especially a team in the office. And it was difficult. I couldn't figure it out. So I figured out a way to do things differently. Um, uh, by the way, on Monday, I'm sorry, on Wednesday of this week at 12 p.m. Eastern, we are doing an invite only Zoom. If you, um, we're going to meet right here in my Zoom room, we're going to go over the actual how to of the main pieces of the Staffless Practice Success System. If you need an invite to that, just drop the word invite below. Okay, so let's talk about the three pillars and why they matter. And then on Wednesday, we're going to talk about how to implement them. And pillar number one is automate. And um, what we're talking about is what do you put, what do you put your foundation of practice on top of? What can hold up the different pieces that you need in place uh, for your practice to move forward in a way that truly floats your boat and that serves your perfect practice member who you want to be serving? So one, automate. Automate the things that you can automate without dropping the personal connection. How do you do that? How do you get all of the things to Sally at the right time in the right place um, in as automated of a way as possible without making Sally feel like there's just a computer on the other end of the message, whether it's an email or a text or a phone or whatever it is. Automating what needs to be automated in a personalized way is one of the three most important things to creating a practice that's truly going to thrive, especially if you don't have staff running things at the desk. So in our world here at Staffless Practice, we talk a lot about texting, having a simple texting program um, so that you've got one click, you're one click away from getting your people the help that they're looking for, whether it's scheduling or receipts or money questions or whatever, getting their kid in to see you, whatever it is. So that's thing. Thing number one is automation. And really the key to automation is keeping it simple because what I see happen is so many of us, myself included, we, we sign up for these programs that have every bell and whistle when it comes to automation and it's just too much. And it ends up being another program that we pay for month after month that we never use. So automation with simplicity and personal connection, okay? Thing number two, connection. So connecting with the right people and um, with the right people, the right in the right ways to continue your practice forward. So I actually just had a call with a new doctor. She's so, so sweet. And how do I fill my practice? How do I get people in? It's not working, nothing's working. And my first question to her was, who do you wanna be serving? Who is your person? Who is the message going to that you're sending out to the community? Who is what I call your bat signal going to? Who is it reaching, right? And once you know the who of the connection, then you know all of the other things that can find that person, reach that person effectively, and most importantly, serve that person really great care. So connecting with the right people as far as the people who you serve, connecting with the right people as far as the people who serve them. So what I mean by that is we talk a lot in Staffless Practice about your Practice Alliance leads, which become Practice Alliance loves, or your pals, right? I have an entire book written about this. And your pals are the people who are already serving your perfect practice member great care. They're already giving them the solutions they're looking for as far as their wellness is concerned, or really just their livelihood, the way that they want to be living their life. 
those are the people that you're going to lean on to connect. And those are the people that we create the marketing plan for. And that's all stuff that I help you do. So that's your pals, right? Connecting with the right people. So you're connecting with your practice members. You're connecting with your community partners. And then you're connecting with your why, I think more than anything. Why do you want to be in practice? Why do you want to be serving the kind of care that you want to be serving? What's your mission? What's your vision? All of these things that are for sure the common thread of the great coaches of the wellness communities. Being connected to your why, being connected to the vision, however that looks for you. Some people need the paper. Some people want to create a Trello board. Some people need a whiteboard. Everybody connects to their vision in a different way. Some people do a vision board for it. So these are all things that um, are really important options when it comes to connecting with the right people. So automate, connect, and then finally organize. Whew, organize is a big one. Figuring the most important thing with organization is figuring out the system that works best for you and knowing that you're going to find a system, but the system is probably going to change 50,000 times before you've perfected it. And being okay with it changing is really important. Having flexibility, holding flexibility around imperative change as your practice grows. I just had this conversation this morning with our team lead. Her name is Shelly. She's brilliant. And we talked about, we're going through a growth spurt here at Staffless Practice Academy, and we just need to change a few systems to make it work, to pivot for the clients who are coming in so that all of the things we want to help them grow with make sense to their brain. So all of the things that you want your practice members to grow with, whether it's the nutrition protocol or um, what paperwork to do before they come to see you or how to pay you or how to schedule all of these things we have to hold on to them lightly we have to know that there's always room for change to happen there's always room for flexibility when it comes to our systems so when it comes to organizing yourself what do we need to organize we need to organize our time our money and our energy right what are the best systems that work for your brain and the way that you think when it comes to organizing these really important components of practice? And the thing is that they're different for everybody. So the way that I organize my time is probably going to look different than the way that three of you guys organize your time. And these are the pieces that we're going to break down. We're going to dissect them on Wednesday um, in the private training. If you want an invite to that, just drop the word invite below. Okay, if you're watching me live, any questions so far, it doesn't look like it. So I want you to just keep in your mind, keep on your heart, automate, connect, and organize. Do these three things. Implement these three pillars in your practice in the way that works best for your heart and your mind. And you're going to watch your practice grow. You're going to watch your practice thrive. I can also tell you that if you reverse it, and you say, why am I so miserable in my practice right now? You can probably look at one of those three pillars and find the reason why. It's probably because either an automation system is not working or you haven't automated or you're disorganized or you're not connecting with the vision or the mission or the right people or figuring out who your perfect practice member is. Okay. I think that's everything I wanted to share today. The point of going live on Mondays is to just drop a piece of information for you to chew on throughout the week. And then over the whole week, I nourish and nurture that idea, that bite, right? And on Wednesday, we're going um, into a private Zoom on this topic, the pillars of the staffless way. If you want an invitation to it, drop the word invite here. Um, and then usually on Thursday, I either give a share or something free to go along with that bite. Okay, I'm loving you guys from here. Go make the world better with great care. And I totally get that you could be doing anything with your time right now. And thank you for listening to me. I hope it was helpful. <laughs>